Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn on 11970. And there we go. And I wanted to show you guys that I'm back to doing sun gazing. And I haven't done it in about three years. This is my third night back, and um, I'll tell you, I miss it. So I just want to show really quick where the sun is. And... It's funny, the first night I did it, well, the first sunset I did it, um, I did it near the edge of the time that you can do it, and uh, my eyes watered a little bit, but nothing worse than looking at a light bulb. A light bulb would hurt even more, but that lasted for about maybe three minutes, and then I just got right back into it. The second night, my body totally cleansed itself uh, I won't get into details, but it definitely purified my body, and this is my third time back, and it's just absolutely beautiful, and uh, I missed it, but um, I wanted to share this with you, because, you know, sometimes we go through cycles, sometimes we go through processes where we have to learn, you know, different things in life, and like they say, sometimes you don't know what you got until it's gone, and considering, as you could see, I mean, I am... A drive away from the beach it's absolutely beautiful as you could see there's water here and there's water on this side so this is a strip but um, I miss it and I'm so glad I'm going back to this because it's it's something that is very calming I don't feel nervous about it at all of course you have to do it properly so please do not sun gaze without knowing what to do I have videos to do it but I'll talk about it now I mean, basically, I'm supposed to be silent doing this, but obviously this would be a pretty boring video if I did that. What you're supposed to do is, there's only two times during the day where it is okay to sun gaze. And that is either at the beginning of sunrise, in the first hour, or the ending of the day, the last hour, basically within the 45-minute mark of sunset. So it is sunset, as you can see, the sun is setting because the harmful UV rays are not present or extremely minimal during these lower periods. That's why nobody suntans when the sun's rising or the sun's about to set, because the harmful UV rays are not present. Now, since we are electrical beings, I mean, we have a circulatory system, we have a nervous system, everything is run with electricity. Our brain is basically an electric computer. And you think of your eyes like a solar panel. And the way you're supposed to do it, if you've never done it before, is the safest way is to do it again, either sunrise or sunset. There is, it's basically just your own preference. Are you a morning person or an evening person? Uh, you only do it once a day, and you start out with 10 seconds and go another 10 seconds after that. Now, I did this for years, from 2012 to almost, I think, 2014. I did it for about two years got to the 45 minute mark and at that point I was told I was supposed to stop and the funny part is I mean uh, those of you who've been watching my channel for a while know that I've almost died five six times in my life due to breathing problems I've had that all of my life and the two years I sun gazed I didn't get sick once and I mean I was walking on the beach I didn't need my inhaler uh, in the winter time the cold air wasn't bothering me at all and then when I stopped it took a couple of months, but I started getting sick again. So, I mean, I'm not here to tell people what to believe. If you want to believe this is utter nonsense, you know, that's up to you. I'm not here to force anybody into any kind of belief system. But I am here to show you that I am doing this. And again, I'll show the sun where it's presently at. And you could see I'm not squinting. My eyes aren't hurting at all. But again, you have to know what you're doing. I mean, think of anything in life. It's all about training responsibility. I mean, fire can cook your food, it can keep you warm, but it can also burn you alive if you don't know how to use it and respect it. So, to me, this is something that's very calming. I feel very energetic afterwards. Um, all of a sudden, my hunger started. Now, it doesn't go away. At least my experience is I still feel hunger, but I don't have to eat as much. I feel full quicker, and I don't have a desire to eat as much when I'm sun gazing. So, to me, this is 
something that I have to do in my life again, and I'm glad I'm starting it up. Whether you do it or not, you know, like I said, you got to research, you got to know what you're doing. Uh, big thing, if you wear glasses, make sure you take them off when you're sun gazing. Um, if you're not, if you're in an area where you can't see the sun at the lowest points because of maybe mountains or trees or what have you, um, you can moon gaze where you're looking at the light of the moon. Uh, it won't be as effective, but like they say in life, sometimes something's better than nothing. What you can also do is you can look at the reflection of the sun in like a um, clear body of water. And that could be any time of the day. So you're looking at the reflection of the sun through the water. Uh, make sure it's something that's completely still, like a lake or a pond. Um, the best bet is um, barefoot in the sand. You don't want to be on concrete or anything man-made because you basically want to be in touch with the earth because the earth resonates energy. It has a pulsation. It even has a tone. The tone is C-sharp. And you have a lot of nerve endings in your bottom of your feet. So you're actually getting energetic benefits from the planet. It's natural healing. These are things that they don't want you to know about because they can't charge you for doing what I'm doing right now. Um, all I know is I can share my experience. Um, when I sun gazed, I wasn't sick anymore. I felt very um, I concentrate better. I had better thought processes. I came up with ideas. I wasn't as hungry as I used to be. I lost weight. I felt better. It's very calming. And um, to me, it's just a beautiful thing. Um, it's something that I highly recommend you look into and make sure it's done properly because if done properly you will see obviously you can see I had so many people I remember when I first started doing this back in 2012 people were saying oh you're gonna go blind you're gonna ruin your eyes because of course like so many lies and misinformation out in this world one of the biggest things you've been told is don't stare at the Sun and you'll go blind well I have several videos, this is now either my third or fourth video of me showing sun gazing, and uh, I'm not blind, here I am, I'm holding four fingers up.